What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys five microcap gems that I believe could explode next bull run. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Now, I want to start off by saying I am not going to be doing technical analysis on any of these coins, which means I'm not saying this is a perfect time to buy any of these coins. In the short term, they could skyrocket or they could dump, but I'm simply just going to give you five coins that I think could do very well next bull run. And the first one on my list is CheckDot, and this might be my favorite out of all the microcap gems. So CheckDot is currently trading at a price point of 24 cents, and just a couple weeks ago, it was trading at 40 cents. And that was awesome because we had previously drawn CheckDot in a falling wedge which we said break up 68% of the time. And at that time, CheckDot was trading at 15 cents. So had you guys taken that trade, you could have made over 100% gains in a couple weeks. But anyways, it's retraced back down to 24 cents. But CheckDot has a market cap of only 1.8 million. Just to put that in perspective, it would only need to reach a market cap of 180 million to 100x your money. So if you invest $1,000, you turn that $1,000 into 100,000. Now, obviously that's not guaranteed, but that's just the potential of CheckDot. In addition, it's circulating supply is 7.7 .7 million out of a max supply of only 10 million. Now, if you compare that to Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a max supply of 21 million and it is thought to be extremely scarce. CheckDot has less than half of the supply of Bitcoin, which makes it even more scarce. And if you guys are looking to invest in CheckDot, I recommend using PancakeSwap. I think it's the easiest out of the decentralized exchanges listed and you will pay the least amount in fees. But anyways, CheckDot essentially aims to mitigate the risks in DeFi. So basically they will run audits on projects and they are also decentralized insurance. If you come over to their website, you can get insured or you can become an insurer and you can get up to $142,000 of your assets insured. And some of the things that they protect against, smart contract vulnerabilities, platform hacks, Oracle malfunctions, wallet exploits, validator slashings, stablecoin DPEG risk. And I won't go super in depth into these, but let's look at the stablecoin DPEG risk. I want you guys to think back to when Terra Luna's stablecoin crashed, UST. There were a lot of people that lost a lot of money, but if they would have had their assets insured using CheckDot, they could have saved a lot of money. So personally, I think CheckDot is a very unique, innovative project, and I could see it doing very well next bull run. And again, I can't stress enough, it has a market cap of only 1.8 million, so it doesn't take very much money to move this project. Now, the next project on my list is Morpheus Labs. The ticker is MITX. And Morpheus Labs is currently trading at a price point of just over half of a penny. It has a market cap of only 4 million, which ranks 967th among all cryptocurrencies. And its circulating supply is up to 699 million out of a total supply of 1 billion, which would be about 69% in circulation. And if you guys are looking to invest in Morpheus Labs, I recommend using KuCoin or MEXC. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. Now, essentially, Morpheus Labs aims to make it easier for enterprises to adopt blockchain technology. And one of the biggest issues we face in crypto right now is most people don't understand the technology. So naturally, if you have a project that helps with that, that could be extremely bullish. In addition, they also aim to help simplify Web3 development. And personally, I think Web3 will be a big narrative during the next bull run. And if you come over to their website, build and deploy Web3 solutions faster with end-to-end low-code platform, multi-chain and off-chain automation and AI-powered technology. And I will say one of the biggest reasons I am super bullish on Morpheus Labs is because of their partnerships. Again, keep in mind their market cap is only 4 million and they are partnered with Huawei Cloud, Amazon Web Services, Waves, Neo, Elrond, which is now Multiverse X, Fusion, Conflux, Polkadot, Tango, Newman, all kinds of huge partnerships. Quite frankly, these are the kind of partnerships that a $2 billion market cap project might have. So from my perspective, if a lot of big name companies have confidence in Morpheus Labs, then why shouldn't I? Now, the next project on my list is Graphlink Chain. The ticker is GLQ. And Graphlink is also currently trading at a price point of just over half of a penny. And I will say it is up 40% in the last month. So do keep in mind, there might be a little bit of a retracement on this project. Now, Graphlink's market cap is 1.7 million, which ranks 1,206th among all cryptocurrencies. 
and its circulating supply is up to 339 million out of a total supply of 650 million. And if you're looking to invest in GLQ, I recommend using KuCoin or MEXC. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. So Graphlink Chain is a proof of authority blockchain built to support the Graphlink protocol and other decentralized applications. It is designed to facilitate the creation and execution of complex automation in a decentralized and trustless manner without the need for intermediaries. And Graphlink Chain is also EVM compatible, meaning that it is compatible with Ethereum-based smart contracts and dApps. But the thing about Graphlink Protocol is it is extremely unique. It is the first ever no-code blockchain. On top of that, they are also trying to integrate AI. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I am extremely bullish on the AI narrative. If you look at what has happened with ChatGBT and other AI services, it is truly starting to take over the world. And Graphlink also has their own AI bot. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, then go ahead and pull up their website. It's right up here in the top right corner. And again, I also want to clarify, this is just a top five video. I have more in-depth videos on each of these projects. So if you are interested, go ahead and check them out. Now, the fourth project on my list is Games for a Living. The ticker is GFAL. Now, you could argue that this project is not a microcap gem, but rather a low cap gem, as its market cap is 32.7 million, which ranks 478th among all cryptocurrencies. But regardless, this project has been blowing up recently. And if you guys are looking to invest in it, I recommend using PancakeSwap or MEXC. Those are probably the two easiest exchanges on here. And I also want to talk about the supply really quick. So its circulating supply is at 1.1 billion out of a max supply of 10 billion, which is only 11% in circulation. And that is something that has scared quite a few people away from GFAL. But just to clarify, they will release 2.25% of the supply every 13th of the month. So at least the inflation is really easy to track. And you can utilize that to your advantage to either buy or sell when it gets released. But Games for a Living is a Web3 gaming platform that aims to revolutionize the gaming industry by releasing the first sustainable blockchain game with its first title, Elemental Raiders. Now, a lot of people will look at Games for a Living and just say, oh, it's another gaming project. But it's actually not at all. The reason for that is because of the founders. And the main person that most of you guys probably know is Trip Hawkins. So this is the guy that literally founded EA. Like think FIFA, Madden, Apex Legends, a lot of huge gaming titles. So the fact that he is connected to this team will naturally install a lot of confidence within this project. As he is quite literally about as big of a name as you can get within gaming. And again, I want you to understand, this project only has a market cap of 32 million. And if you compare that to a project like Gala that currently has a market cap of 400 million, and Gala even reached an all-time high market cap of 5 billion, that just shows the kind of potential that a project like Games for a Living actually has. And if we take a little glance at their website, welcome to Games for a Living, play the future. We craft innovative, engaging, and timeless games by using the latest technology. And some of their games they have, Elemental Raiders, Diamond Dreams, Jump Pump, Soccer Legends. But regardless, Games for a Living has not been out that long. So this is definitely a crypto that I highly recommend you guys keep your eyes on. Now, the fifth and final crypto that I want to talk about is Demetra. The ticker is DMTR. And Demetra is currently trading at a price point of just over two and a half cents. It has a market cap of only 10.2 million with a circulating supply of 384 million out of a max supply of 1 billion. And if you're looking to invest in Demetra, I recommend using KuCoin. Yet again, that's probably the easiest centralized exchange to use. So essentially, Demetra provides access to the blockchain, machine learning, Internet of Things sensors, and satellite technology through a mobile platform that helps farmers globally increase their yield, reduce costs, and mitigate risks. So Demetra is in the agriculture industry. Issues like poverty, hunger, global warming, carbon emissions, fresh water, and soil preservation are all impacted by the adoption of Demetra. So similar to Graphlink Protocol, this is an extremely unique project. Personally, I have never seen anything like this. And if you guys have, let me know down in the comments. I'd be very curious to learn about it. But if you come over to their website, data-driven farming, every smallholder farmer, regardless of economic status, should be able to benefit from simple, beautiful, and useful technology. Because when farmers thrive, economies thrive. And that was said by their CEO, John Trask. Now, as for the DMTR token, token holders help drive platform growth, ecosystem development, and expedite the delivery of our app to millions of farmers. Our token delivers great utility within our ecosystem, and the ongoing growth of our platform will create a compounding effect on the network for years to come. And then the final thing that I want to mention about Demetra is they have, in my opinion, one of the most exciting partnerships, and that is with Morpheus Network. And before you guys ask, no, Morpheus Network is not connected to Morpheus Labs, but Morpheus Network is one of the best supply chain cryptos out there. So that will significantly help Demetra with getting their name and technology out there. So just to do a little recap, my first project is CheckDot. 
which essentially helps reduce risks in DeFi and can provide decentralized insurance. Morpheus Labs, which helps aim to simplify Web3 development and make it easier for enterprises to adopt blockchain technology. Graphlink Chain, which is essentially the first ever no-code blockchain. Games for a Living, which is a gaming project that has maybe one of the biggest names in all of gaming as a founder and just overall one of the best teams. And then Demetra, which aims to provide farmers with access to blockchain technology. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments if I missed any microcap gems. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.